What is up, Scorpio? It's L. I hope everybody is doing well. I wanted to do a quick rel. <laughs> is there ever a quick reading? I don't know. I try sometimes, but I got a couple messages out. I wanted to get and one more, and then I'm going live with you guys to do ten dollar mini reading. So I wanted to get any other love messages out that needed to get out before we did that. This is just going to be a general collective reading for Scorpio. Uh, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you'd like to be notified every time I do post a new video. Like, comment, share, share your love and support. As always, please keep it positive. I am doing personal readings for the next two days. So um, yeah, just only two days. Also, um, uh, these are free readings, so any donations are much appreciated, guys. I am out of work and will be out of work for the next few months. Uh, things are really tight. We've got all kinds of life issues. I know that everybody else does too, but we're just trying to make things work right now and it's really tight, so anything would help. We have a GoFundMe link in the description box below. I've already had to take two weeks off and I'm starting my treatment again. Um, just from healing from an infection and a bad adverse reaction, so... It's been challenging already. Um, I'm grateful for all the love and support. And if you'd like to make a, a donation again, um, anything would help us. Uh, we're saving school stuff, everything. It's, it's you know, uh, it's going to be a minute before I can work again. So, um, what was I going to say? Thank you. Yeah, thank you to anybody. This is it for me right now. So, when I feel good, I get on here and do readings. Thank you to anybody that's donated. You guys are truly, truly amazing, wonderful people. And um, for the like, blessings that, you know, we're receiving right now that are so important. You know, I know my daughter's kind of been bummed out and felt like, oh, you know, I don't get what everybody else gets because, you know, I haven't been able to provide for her like I would like to. <laughs> And that kind of stinks, but I'm very grateful. And I've just, you know, been, I had a long talk with her last night. I was like, please, you know, just be grateful. Grateful that we're, we've been given the, the gifts that we've been given. Um, and so I am very grateful. Um, you know, I think one day when she grows up, she'll understand a little bit better, but it's been a difficult process for her too, right? So, uh, anywho, thank you so much for anybody that has been donating. You guys are truly amazing. Again, that information, if you'd like to donate, it's in the description box below. Um, I'm a single mom and we don't have a family here. I don't have support. So that's just there for anybody that feels like they can help and would like to. Okay, no pressure. Spirit angels, ancestors, guides, please help me provide uh, Scorpio, sun, moon, rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. Also protect us with your white light of protection through the tarot. Yeah, my hands finally feel better. Chemo messed them up pretty bad last time. Lockbox, somebody's feeling trapped. Lockbox, no string. Somebody wanted a no strings attached situation, but somebody's feeling like they're stuck now. They're feeling trapped. Somebody pulled the lock box out, whatever that means. I don't know, Scorpio. Uh, pop up. Somebody's going to pop up unexpected. You're going to feel a little like, what? Nobody pops up at Scorpio's house, right? And I'm a, I'm a Scorpio too, but there's a lot of gossip surrounding a situation. This could be why somebody pops up. Somebody's feeling confused about something or feeling a little confused. Um, tuned in, connected. So there's definitely a connection here. Or somebody's feeling a little tuned in with your energy, Scorpio. All right, what other messages do we have for Scorpio in regards to this reading? What other messages do we have for Scorpio in regards to this reading?
movement dancer. So some of you could be a dancer. There's something that could be involving dance that could be important for you. Maybe getting involved in some type of dance movement. We are made to move, right? The body is made to move. Uh, there could be something super important in, in regards to you and your connection with dance and movement here. Um, because it says tuned in and connected. So this could even be a way that you raise your vibration. I know I like to do that, right? So I sing and dance and stuff when nobody's looking at home, raising my vibration, grandfather, present. So some of you, there's a past on grandfather that is making their presence known. Uh, maybe this is for somebody that specifically is a dancer or was a dancer. Uh, there's definitely a feminine child in this picture. So there's a past on masculine grandfather uh, energy here. Or if it's not a grandfather, a past on energy here uh, that is making its presence known at this time, tuned in, connected. All right. They want you to understand that whatever you're doing here, the potential is boundless, Scorpio. Um this is somebody that when they were alive, they saw a lot of potential or boundless potential in you and your life. Um, Y'all are going to make me teary-eyed here. Hold on. Let's do angel oracles before we get into any tarot. What other messages do we have for Scorpio today? watched over again there's a presence here watching over scorpio i didn't want to take all those but all those came out so that's what we're taking right so watched over i allow myself to feel safe and enjoy my life knowing that heaven is watching over me and my loved ones so there is a presence wanting to know or wanting you to know that you are being watched over here this is a masculine energy um, stay tuned in, connected, connected to messages because they could be also trying to connect with you and message, you know, send messages to you somehow. There could be, again, I was talking about this again in the last reading that I did that has to do with messages from past on loved ones. It could be through music. It could be, uh, the number 77 could be significant because I just saw 7-7. Seven, seven. So, uh, I'm not sure what that means. Should we look it up? I think we should look it up. <laughs> Let's look it up. All right, hold on. <laughs> Y'all, I'm a dork. But when stuff like that happens, right? I feel like in the middle of reading, a lot of times it has to do with whatever it is that we're talking about, which is, you know, crazy. I love it. Okay, spiritual meaning. of 77 is that what we said okay the number 77 has a significant is has spiritual significance and is associated with research knowledge and education all right so it also is said to represent the ultimate truth which is beyond material things the angel number 77 is considered a powerful mystical number representing a spiritual awakening, transformation, and growth. It's also believed to symbolize the path to enlightenment and reminder to remain on the divine spiritual guidance of spiritual growth. So watched over. All right. This is definitely spirit saying have faith. You're watched over by angels. You're watched over by passed on loved ones. I'm willing to release old resentments so that I can enjoy my life. Some of you have some old resentments going on that are still effing you up, right? Whether it's a passed on lover, whether it's a, pa a friend or a <laughs> passed on lover, a, a lover that you're no longer with. Damn. It could be because I accidentally said that, but there could be some kind of resentments, like any kind of resentment that's still lingering could potentially hurt you, Scorpio, right? So um, I'm willing to release old resentments, right? Forgive. You don't have to ever kind of F with anybody ever again, but you can release and release in a positive energy and forgive, right? We've got faith and tenderness. I'm both gentle and powerful, powerful, excuse me. So I feel like this is more of what this is. This forgiveness energy is, is being gentle, but powerful, right? In a situation for you, I have faith that God has 
the God, I have faith in God to heal this situation. So again, where you, when you've been watched over, however you've been watched over, you've had faith, or this is asking you to have faith that spirit, God, universe will be taking care of you and watching over you through your time of need, Scorpio, um, and help heal whatever this situation is that you've been going through here, where you've been watched over. This is turning out to be a beautiful reading. I love it, Scorpio. All right, first card out in, in regards to tarot, we have the Ace of Wands and the Two of Cups. Now, I did say this is probably going to be a love reading, so here we go. We've got lusty love here. We've got a connection here that is, there's definitely a soulmate connection going on here, Scorpio, but there could be a little bit more um, intense sexual chemistry at this time in regards to whatever this connection might be. What other messages do we have in regards to this reading for Scorpio? Good news, money. This came out for you like three times in a row. You're getting approved for either some type of loan. You're going to get some type of money back, some type of gift in regards to money. There is something very positive in regards to money and success here coming through. It could be a raise. It could be a promotion. This could be a new opportunity, a business opportunity, Scorpio. But it is something that will be bringing success into your life. And good news financially. I love it. I love it. I love it that it's also come up three times in a row with readings for you, if not four. Um, what other messages do we have? We'll elaborate. Page of Wands, fun, flirty messages. So there's a lot of sexting, texting going on here. Somebody's having fun. I'm telling you, there's a situation with the Ace of Wands and the Two of Cups. If this isn't going on now, Scorpio, I think it will be. We've got the Magician. Yeah, this is something here. It's either you are currently manifesting or have manifested. What is this Magician energy? You could be dealing with a Virgo or Gemini or somebody has Virgo, Gemini energy. Then we've got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with the Knight of Cups, Scorpio. Why do we have the Knight of Cups here? I feel like this is an energy here. Yeah, the Ten of Cups. You, this is the ultimate, whatever's going on here. Uh, there's, it's just, it's the whole package, right? There's fun, flirty communication. There's romance. There's intense chemistry. This is everything that, it's kind of everything you feel like would make you happy here, whatever that means, right? The two of wands um, here, Scorpio. You're letting someone take control of the situation, I feel like, or letting someone take the lead, or I feel like Spirit is letting you or telling you to here with the world card. There could be a distance between you, but I do feel like you're going to have more success in this situation if you do let this person, whoever this energy is, take more of the lead in the situation. And it could even be with communication, but it's okay. There's a lot of communication coming in your way. This came out last time too. Uh, this person has a lot to say. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, this is a funny card. All right, this person has a lot to say, Scorpio. They do. The Sun card, the Three of Cups. So this is the type of energy. It's like, I want everybody to know Scorpio is mine. This is the energy of, look how cute this is. These two here at the bottom, they just look totally smitten. They're just so happy, right? So it sounds corny, but there's a happy outcome to a situation here where you could be dealing with uh, some of you. Somebody could be dealing with somebody that's not so fun right now. They could be leaving a situation or preparing to leave a situation that's been really intense. And this is the Queen of Swords. This is somebody who is a B word. Yeah. The sun is in reverse, so somebody's definitely leaving a situation where they feel unhappy, moving towards more of a happy situation. <laughs> Here's this flirty messaging again. It's like there's some type of romantic communication that's already started. Here's Scorpio uh, with the six of swords. Yeah, now somebody's preparing to move away from chaos. Somebody, I love this card. Look at it. Somebody could do hair or be a hairdresser, but look how the swords are all in her hair keeping it up, right? So uh, moving away from chaos, keeping that hair up, right? <laughs> uh, keeping it from, from moving, right? As you're moving, right? Keeping it all in place, right? So 
you know, it, I kind of feels like, all right, it, it's giving me the, the energy of looking perfect, right? But, you know, moving away from chaos and, and, and continuing to kind of, you know, keep your cool, whatever this is, don't let this outside issue or whatever this other stuff is affect you. I do feel like with a temperance card here, uh, it could be involving a Sagittarius energy, but I do feel like it's more of spirit saying, hey, you're going to be protected. You're going to be there could be a warning that you're given, hey, way before whatever this happens, yeah, judgment. Somebody actually might even get their self caught up in a bit of karma here uh, that has to do with financial stability uh, because of some, some actions that they are either taking currently or will be taking that aren't very smart, yeah. Um, and that has nothing to do with you. It's just spirit saying, look, do, do, do. there's judgment somebody's bringing that on themselves they're in a situation but uh for whatever reason yeah the cards want to fly out and when that happens i feel like it it could be because this person could be significant because they're blocking or they've been trying to block yeah this is a comp competitive energy a competition a situation because of money you could be dealing with somebody who is possibly potentially a gold digger here we have the four of wands so somebody could have been wanting to marry for money here in a situation yeah here's the five of swords it created a really nasty situation so somebody is kind of walking away from something that was kind of weird yeah that maybe had something to do with that there's the hermit card doing some soul searching here is feeling like I'm not quite happy, but there's some attraction here towards you, Scorpio. So I feel like somebody is going to be communicating a lot of this. They're, if they're not already, yeah, there's the Queen of Pentacles. You, uh, ultimate working parent vibe, climbing up the ladder to success. Uh, just stay balanced because that was the Two of Swords. So what other messages do we have for Scorpio before I end the reading? What other messages do I have for Scorpio before I end the reading? Queen of Wands. You're looking good, Scorpio. There's the tower and it's bringing down towers here, okay? Six of Pentacles again with the Nine of Cups. I do believe it's kind of like there's a tower going on around you, but it is going to be beneficial for you with the Nine of Cups here. We've got a message coming in. There could be a good uh, something working out here in your favor. Wishes coming true in regards to a child or children here in a situation as well. Something fair some type of redistribution of energy here with uh, the tower as well. So stay confident with that queen of wands energy. I'm going to leave it there guys, because I want to go live. I hope this message was helpful for someone until next time. Lots of love and light. Bye.